In this video, let's look at the integral of the velocity in a little more detail. We've made this observation that because the velocity is the derivative of the position function, the integral of the velocity is the net change in the position, which is the displacement. What about the integral of the speed function? Remember that the absolute value of the velocity is the speed. Let's investigate this in a concrete case where the velocity changes a sign once. The velocity is positive then the velocity is negative. So remember how this works when the velocity is positive, the object is moving in a positive direction, let's say to the right. And then when the velocity is negative, the object is moving in the other direction. The absolute value of the velocity is going to leave this alone, but it's going to affect this. When the velocity is negative, the absolute value will make it positive. Let's call this point where the sign switches C. And let's make use of a fact which we have stated before, but not until now had cause to use that we can break integrals up like so. The integral from A to B is the integral from A to C plus the integral from C to B. So the integral from A to C is the integral of the velocity. As I've mentioned, since the velocity is already positive here, the absolute value doesn't do anything. The absolute value of a negative quantity puts a negative sign in front of it. And that will make it positive. So, this integral, and now linearity tells us this negative sign can come out. So minus this integral. 
And now the net change theorem tells us, remember that the velocity is the derivative of the position. This first integral is V of C, sorry, nope. It's S of C minus S of A. This second integral is S of B minus S of C. And what does this mean? This object is going back and forth. First it's moving to the right, then it's moving to the left. So we've got S of A, we move to the right, we get to S of C. So S of C minus S of A is simply the distance traveled. This we can rewrite as S of C minus S of B. And remember from C to B, we're moving to the left. So S of B is here. And S of C is to the right of it. And again, S of C minus S of B is merely two distances. I mean, I should say this is a distance. This is another distance. These are merely two distances. In particular, we started wherever we started. We moved to the right for a bit. Then we moved to the left a bit. This distance, the distance from our ending point to our starting point, is our displacement. The integral from A to B of the velocity function. It's not, of course, the total distance we traveled. The total distance we traveled was this plus this. And that is what the integral of the speed function represents. So these are clearly different, albeit related concepts. Yes.